This is Corrupted. This is Corrupted. Corrupted. Corrupted Nation with Joe Cronin. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Uh, so we have to talk about this. There's this lady on Twitter. By the way, I've got some other political news here that's a lot of fun to me. I'm having a blast right now. I'm about ready to take a shower and get ready for the big show tonight. Monetize this tonight in SmackDown. But look at this. Um, this lady, or whatever she is, Jody something, uh, Jody, Jody Optim, Optimism Bias Jacobson, whatever that means. Anyway, she's got a blue check mark, which is no surprise. Uh, blue check mark for her, which is crazy, but. Um, let me see here. She says she's really mad that Joe Rogan uh, endorsed Bernie Sanders. Recently, Joe Rogan endorsed Bernie Sanders, um, which is huge because Joe Rogan's got one of the most powerful platforms ever. And right now there's insane backlash from crazy people on the left. You guys really want Donald Trump to be president, don't you? You really want him to be president again. The, the left really wants Donald Trump to be president so bad that um, that Joe Rogan came out and endorsed Bernie Sanders, which is a good thing. for. And, and by the way, Joe Rogan is mostly left-leaning but has some right tendencies as well, which I like Rogan because he kind of just thinks for himself. Joe Rogan doesn't really concern himself with left or right. You know, he does whatever he wants to do. Um so it's kind of ridiculous, but uh, I'm trying to find the tweet. Bernie Sanders was very happy, obviously, about that, which you should be because it's a very powerful audience, a big reach. And oh, here it is. I found it. So Bernie Sanders was endorsed by Rogan, which is great for Bernie Sanders, to be honest. Um, here it is. The primary. I think I think I'll probably vote for Bernie. Him as a human being, when I was hanging out with him, and yeah. I, I believe in him. I like him. I like him a lot. What Bernie stands for is a guy who, well, look, you could, you could dig up dirt on every single human being that's ever existed if you catch them in their worst moment, and you magnify those moments, and you cut out everything else, and you only display, display those worst moments. That said... You can't find very many with Bernie. He's been insanely consistent his entire life. He's basically been saying the same thing, been for the same thing his whole life. And that in and of itself is a very powerful structure to operate from. Boom. So there you go. I don't I don't I don't know who I'm going to vote for this time. I don't even know I don't think I, I don't know if I'm going to vote. But the bottom line is you know, um that's a good thing for the left, I would think, and for Bernie and for everything. And he's being under attack for for because Joe Rogan is an unbiased guy, no matter what you think about Rogan. Well, for the most part, Rogan has almost anybody on his show all the time. Um, and so he's being attacked now, and especially by this twat head, um, like I said, uh, Jody something or other. Yes, guy. Yes, guy who hangs out with Alex Jones, the man who literally pr uh, probed a guy to go to a pizza restaurant or prodded a guy to go to a pizza restaurant with guns to find a child sex ring. I was there that night. It was not humorous. It's like, first of all, like Alex Jones is kicked off all social media, not because of the mistakes he made, but because of the things that Alex Jones got right. If you think Alex Jones is banned from Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, and making money in certain ways, if you think Alex Jones is banned from, from that stuff for something that he said incorrect about Sandy Hook from three years ago, you are sorely mistaken. Alex Jones is banned because of the things that he was right about. And you could point to a lot of things, but I'll point to uh, Epstein. Alex Jones exposed the Epstein, st Epstein stuff years ago. Celebrities called him crazy and that it may be slander. And finally, the Epstein stuff finally came out, even though people have known about it for 10 years. Alex Jones has been reporting on it for years. Now, now Epstein's dead, and he didn't kill himself, and Alex Jones is banned from everything that you can imagine. But he's not banned for the dumb mistakes that, about Sandy Hook and some of the other terrible things that he's been mistaken about. He's banned really, for the things that he got right. But you are supposed to believe he's banned for the Sandy Hook thing. Because if, if, a, if a local guy steals money from a bank, but then 
exposes 300 children being raped and the people that want that guy away so he doesn't tell anybody about the child rape, they say, look, he was a criminal. He stole from banks. And, tell, and they tell the public that. And the public goes, oh, wow, he is a criminal. Yeah, what a lying criminal that guy is. They just use they, they use the worst thing they could to, to put him away. It's, it's incredible. So if you can't see that. But Jody is really angry that... Um, you know that 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 this there was an endorsement here. Like she's very, very angry. Um, finally, somebody from the Bernie camp responded to her and said, because uh, she was like, "Why did he go on his show? Why did why did Bernie go on Joe Rogan's show? Bernie Sanders, who went on Joe Rogan's show, and he's endorsed by Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan's a scumbag. Ah, ah, ah. Like like oh, you want Trump to be reelected? I guess, huh?" Your only chance, Bernie Sanders, you want him to be in trouble. So the Bernie uh, people responded, all the candidates asked to be on his show. Cut the crap. She goes, oh, you mean aside from the official campaign video? Honestly, go fuck yourself. Honestly, go fuck yourself. Now, if I said go fuck yourself on Twitter, I'd be banned for life, like I am for saying MTV hates white people as a joke. Um, I'm banned for life for saying that. But a blue check mark or white check mark, whatever you call them now. Um, oh, go fuck yourself. Oh, wow. You're, wow. You really got him. That proves the point, doesn't it? What a great point you proved. So because Bernie Sanders went on Joe Rogan's show, he's racist and crazy and nobody should vote for Bernie Sanders. Who do you want to vote for, lady? I'm really curious as to who this lady wants to vote for. If she doesn't want Bernie to be elected, who does she want to be elected? Is it Trump? Do you want Trump to be elected? Which is okay, I guess, if you want Trump to be elected. What What are these people? What are these things? Jody. Honestly, honestly, go fuck yourself. Honestly, go fuck yourself. <laughs> These are the people that make me hope Trump gets elected again, just so I can watch them. I almost want, I, I'm, I was thinking about Bernie, because I like Bernie and Trump, Bernie and Trump. I don't know, who do I want? Um, but honestly, I, I almost want to see this lady's head blow off her body. You know what I mean? Like, honestly, go fuck yourself. I want, I'm a feminist. These people all literally got Trump elected and they don't even know it. They don't even realize. She doesn't even realize that she's one of the people that got Trump elected. She has no idea. She has no idea that she's one of the people that got him elected. It's so funny to watch these people attack Bernie Sanders. You're attacking Bernie Sanders, the guy who has basically said the same thing for like 40 years. And the guy who like is so so nice, he won't even he won't even speak up when women attack him. Women wrongfully attack him, and he backs off. And that's part of his problem. If he didn't back off, he might get more votes from some of the guys out there. If you find what you know, what enough of that. Shut your face and go to hell. Just get the fuck get off the stage, you you you're, you're a cunt. Like if Bernie Sanders did that, oh my god, he would he would win. He doesn't even realize it. He has to be a dick, and he doesn't even understand that. Editor, analyst, writer, mom, feminist, thinker, and doer, realist, and dreamer. Progressive, but not predictable. Previously, EIC, Rewire News, UW-Madison alum. <laughs> Honestly, go fuck yourself. Honestly, like this is the type of stuff you'd think from my Twitter, from my comedic Twitter and raging, ranting Twitter. This is the stuff you think you'd see from me. But no, you got it from a journalist, a journalist, and a feminist, or maybe not a journalist. She's an editor, analyst, writer, and mom, I guess. Honestly, go fuck yourself. <laughs> These people are nuts. These people are crazy. I, I really can't believe it. We now have um, insanity on Twitter. I am. I just, you know, I can't believe that I'm banned for life. But in a related story, actually in a non-related story, Trump just unveiled the new space logo for the Space uh, Force, and it looks a lot like the Star Trek Starfleet Command logo, <laughs> which I love. This is great. I love this. I mean, even people that hate Trump were coming out and saying that's pretty cool. However. You know, if Trump uses space to kill a bunch of people, like, I mean, you know, I mean, no, he won't do that. But, you know, someday, you know, 15 years from now, our space force like blows somebody up. 
It's like, well, this quite this isn't quite Starfleet. This is not the Starfleet I think we thought we were getting. But the logos are very similar. Although I think the Starfleet logo is re way cooler. Our our Star Command one or whatever is is kind of, kind of looks like Star Fox, like a polygon Star Fox from like 1995 and six, uh, Super Nintendo or whatever. Um, but yeah, and oh my God, I I finally found something that I agree with when it comes to um um. God, where is it? I lost it. Oh, here it is. I found the... Uh, here's the original post. It, this is horrifying. Look at this. This is horrifying. Joe Rogan and Gavin McGinnis discuss the Islam inbreeding connection. <laughs> this is horrifying. Even left-wing people are all commentating on, on her. But, but I, mean, I, I mean, normal left-wing people. Like, people who are normal, who are on the left, are commentating like they had a great conversation I didn't agree with everything, but it was a normal conversation. This is horrifying. Oh, my God. Free speech is horrifying. Oh, my God. Speaking about stuff is horrifying. Oh, my God. Having a conversation is horrifying. It is horrifying to Jody. Oh, my God. No, not a conversation. God, kill us all now. Oh, my God. A conversation. I'm going to kill myself over a conversation. Um... Somebody wrote below her message, you know Bernie's actually trying to win this, right? <laughs> you know Bernie's trying to actually win the election, right? You might want to stop. You might want to stop and stop it. Where's my... There's another tweet. Oh, yeah, here it is. Here it is. There's another tweet that I actually... Uh... I can't believe this. I actually agree with I, I actually agree with AOC on something. I can't believe it. By the way, I love this type of video that I'm doing right now because this type of video is great to me. I'm agreeing with like three, four, four different political parties right now. Do you realize this? In this video, there are four different political parties or like you know angles that are either mad at me right now or agree with me because I'm kind of like taking all of them. So like I want you to remember that there's probably one a couple of things I'm saying that you're loving. There's probably a couple of things I'm saying that make you go oh because I'm not part of any party or any group. I, I'm thinking randomly and independently about everything. So remember, I don't slide into the pegged holes. So there's probably something about these rants that, that you're not going to like, but at least I'm being honest with you. You know what I'm saying? Um, but there's something in this rant or this conversation that I'm having right now. Um, I think that's probably for everybody, for, for somebody. Uh, where? Why won't it load? Why won't it load up here? I don't get it. I'm trying to find... Uh... Oh, man, it's driving me nuts. Oh, well, anyway, I'll just read it to you since I can't find it. Um, I, I don't know why it's not popping up, but it's pissing me off that it's not popping up. I'll tell you that. Uh, Alexander Ocasio-Cortez, uh, CNBC. This is great. CNBC tweeted out, JP Morgan, CEO Jamie uh, Dimon, or Dimon, or Demon, Demon, <laughs> uh, takes on socialism, says it will lead to an eroding society. So that's interesting. The, the leader of JP Morgan, pretty much one of the most powerful companies in the world, um, takes on socialism, says it will lead to an eroding society. That may be true. That could be true. What he said could be true. That's true. But Alexander Ocasio-Cortez says, saving this comment for the next time Wall Street asks for a $700 billion bailout from the federal government. Boom. That's right. Fuck you, Jamie Demon, or whatever your name is from J.P. Morgan, you scumbag cocksucker. Well, I might maybe agree with you that socialism in the wrong way could erode the society. You guys are socialists. You're rich guys who use socialism. That's what you do. You're like, oh, we're rich as shit. Oh, can we borrow some money? Oh, cool. We just borrow. We can just get bailed out. Oh, that's cool. We're like super mega rich, and now we just get bailed out. Now, the reason that they probably got bailed out was a couple things. First of all, they're pow powerful enough to ask for it. Second of all, their infrastructure keeps the countries and things going the way they go. So if those banks had crashed the way they would have, it may have actually altered our society in a devastating way. So I can understand somewhat for why the big banks got a bailout and they got basically they got a cheat code. They used a cheat code. 
And I don't. I think they partially got it because they're all scumbags, but they also got it because I think they were afraid of what would happen to society uh, if they failed. So, I, I mean, I don't really know, but that's a debate you guys can have down below and have some fun with it. I'm not really sure. But I do agree with her on this. This guy want this guy. These guys literally used fucking f free money after they made mistakes. It's pretty crazy. Where's my bailout? Where's our bailout? Do we get a bailout? I remember saying that uh, years ago. Did the homeless guy outside who fucked up on something get a bailout? When I fuck up on my taxes and I owe the government like thirty grand, it's like, do I get bailed out? Can someone bail me out? I'd like some free money to be bailed out for all the mistakes that I've made, so we can just make mistakes and get bailed out. Oh no, you can't. You die, and uh, you have no health insurance, and you die of a disease, or your kid get cancer. Oh, you just die. Oh, okay. But uh, J.B. Morgan, uh, hey, here's start. Try again, guys. <laughs> You're rich already, but try again. Uh, anyway, whatever. This is my video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you tonight for Monetize This. Dr. Earl, man on the street tonight. Five questions with the doctor debuting tonight on Monetize This. You do not want to miss that. It's some funny shit. And uh, little Miss Jody, I hope you fall down a flight of stairs. How about that? Go fuck yourself.